Hi, I'm Trixie Mattel from the CVS on Santa Monica. Hi, I'm Edward Hansen, and I'm Sarah Paulson's tear stain. And you're watching Hashtag After Show, and today we're looking at episode three of American Horror Story, Hotel. In this week's episode, we see costume changes in an elevator. In this week's episode, we see Angela Bassett do a three minute impersonation of Pam Greer. In this week's episode, we see a crying hand job. In this week's episode, I find out that Cheyenne Jackson is gay in real life. Welcome to the world. I know. This episode right off the bat started off with Tristan, and I'm sorry, even after a week to think about it, he's still not hot to me. I mean, even when he entered with those like luscious Shane from the L word updo, like it was sort of like very like, he came in there guns blazing, like shagadelic, and I thought it was hot. You did not find- It's just still not hot to me. You were not erect. I mean, it was hot. No. It, you were You were the opposite of erect. It's just whatever to me, like, I don't know. He walks in and he's talking to um the poacher from Jumanji, Evan Peters. Right who, by the way, chilling and hot at the same time, super. Although now that um, now that uh, Tristan is into killing people, he is a little hotter to me. Right, I is mean, that because, weird? yeah, I think like murder's very sexy. You know, it's like the Scott Peterson effect. I think everything's turning gay at any moment because once in a while when you're off guard, it does turn gay. It's like a, it's like basically like a coming out video on like for a 14 year old on YouTube. You know what this, I mean? It's this like. This show is like The Sims. Like everybody is bisexual. Anyone could fuck anyone at, at any, any time. given moment. Yeah. And God I'm here bless. for it. Yeah, for sure. Sure. Today we're going to count down the top five most important moments of this week's episode. Number five is Chloe Sevigny's character, which her name is Alex. Does it matter? Yeah, viewers at yeah. home, we watch this and we we're call judging. most characters by their character name, yeah. except Kathy Bates is Kathy Bates, Chloe Sevigny is Chloe Sevigny, and Lady Gaga is Lady Gaga. Yeah. I love that we got a little backstory exposition on Chloe Sevigny and the fact that like maybe she shouldn't have had kids. And then when she did, she had a little bit of an Oedipal obsession with Holden. It was like a really actually touching sequence because when you can make me care about kids, I mean, that's- It was very reverse mommy dearest for sure. But I always say, if you love your kids, don't, get them get, don't let them get stolen at the fair. And Hello. don't love them too much, you know what I mean? Like, don't love them so much that your, that your marriage suffers, you know, because that was also a threat in there. Her mar homegirl's marriage was suffering because she had like weird feelings for Holden. Yeah, she did. And she even said, that later on you find out that she even cared more about Holden than Scarlett, her other kid. So basically this is leading to the divorce of Chloe Sevigny and her lovely husband. And then finally she sees Holden. Well, it was kind of emotional because the first five minutes of the, the episode is her talking about how much she loved him. And you can tell walking to this much. hallway, she like almost can't believe that she sees him. And that's how it ends the episode. So I can't wait to see what happens. We didn't, <laughs> this isn't one of our points, but what about when Naomi Campbell was furiously talking on the phone, I thought that phone was gonna come through the screen and hit me. I was like, There no! was literally, like, the fact that there was not a nose to break was just the biggest tragedy of the episode. When the bleach blonde heroin addict grabbed her through the bed, she should have turned around and whipped her Motorola razor at him and ran out the front door. And Moment number four that's important is basically Sally's whole crazy ass life. She's perpetually smoking and crying. Every scene, she has fresh tears and a cigarette that is any length. Honey, my learning. Maltese has less tear stains than you. Like, why do you have some, why are there tear stains constantly? She has like a foot long cigarette and then it cuts to someone else, it gets back to her and she's like smoking the filter. Sally has this incredible moment where she's in the elevator with the lovely Detective John and he's trying to arrest her. Your husband. He doesn't my husband. Your ex-husband. He doesn't realize that she's kind of a ghost or something. Right. And she's crying and probably still smoking and then she reaches in his pants and he wants it. What every person on earth loves, a crying hand job. Right. By she's, the way. Horrible, sad, runny, oily eyes, and she's just like. <sighs> crying blowjob, totally different thing. Very sexy. Crying hand job, not so much. If some bitch in crimped hair and a disgusting, like, smoking jacket can reach her tear filled hand onto his dick, and that's <laughs> right. like a moment for him. I mean, I guess it was like lubricant or something, and I will say this, Sally. Two words, angel eyes, it's a little powder you put in your dog's dish and you eat them and it takes away the tear stains. My advice to you, girl, mwah, love you. Is that you. real? Yeah, it's real. For all for like those white dogs that get the brown eyes. Uh-huh, it's all natural. Well, What's I'm just trying to help, okay? I'm trying to help her. She looks like one I'm of those I'm giving dogs. her constructive criticism. She's a mold, yeah. Love you though. I do love Sarah Paulson. Like Sarah Paulson could have tear stains for the rest of her life and I'd still love her, but I do too, eyes. but I just, it amuses me that every time we see her, it's as if we'd interrupted a quiet smoking crying session that she is perpetually stuck in. When Sarah Paulson is grabbing the detective's dick, I've never wanted to be a dead junkie haunting a hotel more than that moment. Right. Hypodermic Sally, if a man holds up handcuffs to your face, usually in my world, it means we're having sex. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of she like- She took it like that. She, I, she should stick. have. And I appreciated that because I also was like, oh, you're not arrested. You're having sex with him. If I ever get arrested, that's what I'm going to think it's leading to. Yeah, me too. Because I don't break laws, but I am very attractive. There's nothing illegal about being hot, you know? Well, people find me very approachable yet beautiful. And right. return of the pot sticker man. Oh my God, when is he ever gonna just fuck off? You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, can you just give us some privacy pot I, sticker man? Like, God. I'm not here for it because they keep showing him and he keeps threatening to do more horrible things, but we have no information on like, him. Like, right go now. back to Trader Joe's, put yourself in a, in a bag, and put yourself back in the frozen section because no one needs to see you, pot sticker man, okay? Like, I'm done with you. He also looks like some kind of like homemade hodgepodge Yankee candle. We still don't know Kathy Bates is his name, but <laughs> Sally kills Kathy Bates' his, his with heroin and then puts a bag over his head. But also, like, you knew it was Donovan's mom because she gave her a lot of heroin and Kathy Bates was just, like, chilling. I She's also like, love, oh, you got any more? Like, I'm good. Like, I love that Sally was like, why do you want to kill yourself? And then Kathy Bates gives her this horrible, like, sad, like, I don't understand how people can laugh in this world. And Sally's like, you got it. Yeah. That's right. And there, I mean, there, there are a lot of Oedipal themes here because I do feel like Kathy Bates is like some weird attachment issues to Donovan. The third most important part of this episode was the moment between Donovan and his mother, Kathy Bates, because he's ready to peace out. I mean, she's showing him apartments. She's ready for them both to go, which, hey, Bomer, if you are looking for an apartment, I have a half bedroom, no bathroom apartment that I'm happy to share with you. Yeah. I mean, she was like picking out cute spots in Koreatown, maybe Valley Village. Like she was planning a whole little sophisticated moment for them, not really. But he flips not out really. on her. For like no reason, he's for like, no reason. you were a terrible mother because you cared and you uh, wanted good things for me. Well, no, but he was also like, you gave me this, like you joined like a weird vegetarian cult and I had fiber and I shit my pants. I'm like, join the rest of the club. Yeah. Like I shit my pants on Christmas Eve. Good luck to you, like, one, okay. One time I had too much fireball and I shit my pants in a Starbucks. I had to take my underwear off in the bathroom, put them in a plastic bag and throw them away and get the fuck out of there. I but I did get my very, very hibiscus. Ew, refresher. that's so refreshing. I had to throw away a very expensive pair of diesel jeans and it was not You shit pretty. diesel jeans? Yeah. I shit a BMW, I shit my diesel jeans. You shit in a BMW? Yeah, my... Yeah, try shitting in a BMW, Donovan, okay? <laughs> I'm not on heroin because of it, Donovan. The shit's out of the bag. Okay? <laughs> I'm not saying this happened. <laughs> One time in my life, I may have had a roommate who was taking too long in the bathroom and I had just gotten a shot for gonorrhea two days prior <gasps> and they told me oh my God. that if you get the shot in the butt, it can give you diarrhea. And I was like, yeah, right, I can take it. Yeah, right. So I'm in my room and I'm like, oh, this is happening. But I can get into the bathroom. So I overturned my trash can. I lined it with a garbage bag. I tucked my dick in my own trash can in my bedroom. Shit in it. I tied off the bag. I put it in something else. I used makeup wipes to clean myself off. And I walked down the block and threw it away in a neighbor's trash can. <laughs> that is an Ebola epidemic right there. <laughs> I like, hate that myself. is literally. I need to be stopped. You know what? I'm not perfect. Yeah. And maybe I would have a son who would yell at me because I did something like that. But the thing is. One can only hope. Having a fibrous diet is not child abuse. Exactly. And having a mom who's like, gee, let us let me pick out a cute place for us in a nice suburban neighborhood where you'll feel safe away from all these vampires and ghouls, like that's not not caring, Donovan. But it makes it a lot more interesting because originally I thought he doesn't care about his mom because he's a vampire now. But he doesn't care about his mom because he's like, you're the reason I do drugs. I hate you. Yeah, and he was like, everyone in AA thought you were real fucking terror. And I was like, um okay, Donovan, like, what stories are you talking about? Because I'm seeing a great mom. He's so sexy. He could be like, my mom treated me good. I'd be like, that's horrible. I know. I'd be like, mm. oh, no, let me take care of you for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. Yeah, I'll make it better. He basically says, mom, you should go kill yourself. Don't think about it. Do it. That was so mean. I know. That was so mean to Kathy Bates, okay? Like, that was just wrong. That one was very mom, wrong. One time my mom called me during sex and I said the same thing. Well, I mean, well, then it, I can understand that. She didn't hit you. She gave you a fiber one bar. Calm the fuck down. This is almost point number one, but it is going to be point number two. Everybody in this episode wants Will, a.k.a. Cheyenne Jackson, who is the hot, the, he, I mean, he's, spoiler alert, he's going to be the horror hunk of the week. He's so gorgeous. Yeah, it is a constant Cheyenne Jackson jerk off homage. You know when you're gay and you want everything to be gay, but it's not always gay, and then in your mind, you're making it more gay than it is? In this show, Right when you have that spark of, I wish something gay would happen, they're like, oh yeah, what about this? Uh -huh. Because Shine And then Jackson, you're licking a supermodel's chest and getting a hand job, you know, he starts, over my, the pants. At first he was getting hit on right. by Tristan and he, he said no. So then I thought maybe he wasn't gay. But then, oh my God, Tristan was actually turning the sexy on. He knows how to like make it happen. I mean, what have I been saying since last I get episode it a little, recap? Okay, thank but you. But I'm not into that 
Shane like, from the L Word do. I get front it. Front desk get torrid haircut. Okay, I can't do that's that. That's fine. The character of Will is gay. He's gay gay. His erection confirmed it. You know what I yeah, mean? Like his, that yeah. was so hot. Tristan <laughs> Tristan almost kills Will. I mean, you can kill me, my father, my sister, my you. You can kill All Edward. Kill me. Do not kill Cheyenne and don't take him away from me on episode three. Don't kill a beautiful person. And thank God Gaga enters and goes. And we think, why doesn't Gaga want him to kill him? Oh, because turns out Gaga wants him for his money. I mean, that's the only reason to get married nowadays, in my opinion. I, I do love how he was like, uh, I do love how um, Will's like, well, Gaga, you know I'm gay. And she goes, I'm not stupid. So then Gaga's getting it on with them, and Tristan's all jealous, and then she's like, it's for the money. Cha-ching, yeah. Oh, well, you know, being super old and brilliant, I mean, she's definitely has been around the block. She basically also admitted that she was wealthy and now she needs money. And also, like, for me, like, as, like, in a very gay way, I did think she looked super hot in that, like, tight, vampy Morticia Adams. She was on her Morticia. You I don't know? know, though. If he's gay, I'm gay. If Kinsey scales one to six, I'm, like, a 75. Gaga could be in full male drag and I still wouldn't even be able to get a softie with her. I think that was the only time that I could get the opposite of a softie with her because it was just like, it was something about like the sensual Morticia seduction of it all, like for me was very hot. So I get it and he was hard, well he liked it. And then it. she was touching him and she goes, by the way, you're hard and they didn't show it. I know, full frontal. How hard we are we talking? Are we more... talking like, like popcorn shrimp hard or are we talking like Shop vac hard, like I need to know. It's time for full frontal America, we're ready. And what, yeah, I agree. Time, I agree. more full frontal. Justin Bieber led the way, let's do it. But Cheyenne Jackson, not only it's Will, well, well not only it's Tristan, not only it's Gaga, I want Will. I want him and not you for do. his money. I don't care about his money. I do care about his money. I care. But I mostly just I want him and his beauty. He's so tall. I bet you in person he is like. Drop dead. I mean, come on. And I wanna, I'm gonna give him my blood too. I wanna give him my blood, my tears. Fuck, I'll give him a blood orange San Pellegrino from my fridge. I'll be your slave. I'm hot from talking about that. I know, whoo! Oh, Cheyenne Jackson was in Xanadu, so in real life he also sings. I don't care if he sings or if he doesn't talk, as long as he stands there as Cheyenne Jackson, that's good enough for me. I knew that he was gay though, because his son has a full like soccer mom blowout. Every day he's like, sit still. The day <laughs> he named his son Lachlan, that was like his coming out story. He's like brushing Lach Lachlan's hair. I like I, yeah, I think every day Will comes in in like a head wrap in the morning and like it's time for your blowout, Lachlan. It's He's, like it's like mid '90s Dana Delaney that is just is not quitting. I want to see Cheyenne Jackson with his clothes off. I hope it happens. <laughs> I'm sure it'll happen. It's American Horror Story. What else? What, what else is not gonna? I mean, Andy's that's totally gay. happening. I wonder yeah. if he likes reality stars who lose TV shows. What? Because I am available. He probably lives here in Los Angeles. I bet he does. <sighs> if he ever sees me on my rollerblades, it's a done deal because I look great. Finally, we meet. Miss Angela motherfucking Bassett, Ramona Royale. I was excited because I'm caught up on season three now and she was incredible in American Horror Story season three as yes. the voodoo queen. Yes. When I saw her, I mean, we just lost Naomi Campbell in this episode, but we gained another beautiful woman of color who is maybe even more striking on television. She's just all cheekbones and skin. It She's was, gorgeous. It was literally like we're watching her. Angela Bassett has not aged in 20 years. And finally, we figure out why. It's because she's a vampire. I mean, literally, I'm like, oh, you're a vampire. Okay, no wonder you still look the same as you did in Waiting to Exhale. When Angela Bassett, aka Ramona Royale, stuffs him in the trunk, I saw her and I thought, oh my God, she's giving me full Foxy Brown. Not a moment later, she I, is full Foxy Brown. I never want to get off on the Ramona coaster. You know what I mean? It was just like, also, it was that whole black exploitation homage to Pam Greer. Yep. There's only one actress who could pull that off in Hollywood and it is Miss Angela Bassett. Yep. We basically find out that through her way in Hollywood, she meets up with Gaga and they fall in love and she becomes a vampire. And they're in love for what, over a decade? There's this incredible moment where it shows them rising or going down in this elevator, showing looks from all the years they're together and it was like, we watched it twice. Very queen of the night, you know, it was very, it was just so beautifully done that I was like, this is absolute genius, cinematic genius. It was perfect. Take a note, people who are doing 80s and 90s montages, because that was it. That was 30 seconds of the 80s and 90s montage yeah. right there. And they didn't say a fucking word. They yeah. said nothing, no dialogue. Yeah. So much feeling in there. And that's Miss Angela Bassett. Um, and then we find out that Angela fell in love yeah. with a hot, delicious record producer. And she leaves Lady Gaga for her, except so she thought, you know what I mean? We find out Gaga, you wouldn't think of it, but she 
isn't having her babies making babies. That's not no. a thing she's interested mm -mm. in. But I'm happy Angela Bassett's here because she's amazing. So far, she is making the series for me. Like this one introduction, this one introductory character is like, it's kind of trumping all of them for me. Completely, and it takes place in Los Angeles in a famous hotel, and now we're at least getting some more pieces of Hollywood. If right. it's really Los Angeles, we would have famous people coming in and out, and we had a moment of that with the fashion show from last episode. I'm living, this episode, one and two are great. I feel like three, now I'm like, I cannot wait to see what happens. This Third season. time's a charm for sure. For yeah. me, it was the best so far. The hunk of horror this episode is, 3,000% Will, AKA Cheyenne Jackson. I will concede, I'm gonna give up on Don, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna give up on Tristan and say that I 100% agree with you, it yeah, was because Will. because he looks like a stock boy at Hot Topic, and Cheyenne Jackson sings, is tall. He has the arms of Michael Phelps, the jawline of Kira Knightley. He has like, he has this kind of, um, he has kind of a James Dean look to him. It's a pouty lip with like a lot of bone structure. Well, he's like the classic black hair, blue eyes, striking appearance. He's the black Dahlia, except he's a man, you know? I love guys with Oh um, my God, black hair and blue eyes, stop oh, it. Yeah, it's the word, it's like my poison, stop it. Team Will Drake, Drake, owner of the hotel, because he's hot, gay, has a kid who has a fierce fucking bob, and- He does. He's kind of a little, he's apparently into sex with a number of people, and hopefully me. He's so. a trisexual, and I appreciate that. Yeah, fuck anyone. Rest in peace, that really hot Silver Lake guy who died last episode. R.I.P. girl. You and your beard, may you rest in peace forever, for all eternity. The Gaga moment for me was when she met Angela Bassett and she had this distressed kind of permed hair, like this spiral wrap perm, and then she was wearing this turquoise. It was very um, uh, Daryl Hannah and Splash, Mita Piñata. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, the most Gaga moment was Gaga on top of her morticia in that black vampy dress seducing Miss Will Drake, because it was, it turned me from a homosexual to an even bigger homosexual. Did you notice she also had a belt that looked like it was part of the hotel? Did you notice that? Ooh. She had a huge belt that looked like one of the door handles from the hotel. Well, I love an Art Deco jewelry moment because who has, I love Art Deco, so. I will say this, after watching the past seasons of American Horror Story, I can see why people were like, oh no, we're missing the lovely Jessica Lange. But right. Gaga isn't quite a replacement, but when you tack on the fashion we're seeing, Every moment is a moment. Yeah. She's never just wearing something. She's wearing something that Angela Bassett says she fell in love with her because it's someone who loves art, style, knows everything about culture. And we're seeing this realized character who seems like she truly could seduce anyone, no matter what their like orientation is. Very polyamorous, and I could go gaga for gaga at any second. I saw it, you know, and I was yeah. very happy about it. I'm ready to know more about the gentleman who built the hotel, Evan Peters' character. We know a little. But why is he here? We need to know why he's here and what he's doing. James Patrick Marks has agreed, has agreed to show Tristan all the different secret, secret unused murder rooms. So that has to come out. He's and a, is Kathy Bates gonna be a vampire? For me, I predict um, Donovan, Angela Bassett, Kathy Bates, Trinity teaming up to take down Gaga. Like they're gonna take her down, honey. And well, also Angela Bassett, she wanted Donovan because she thought that was Gaga's current lover. Mm -hmm. So now she probably is going to want Tristan because she needs. But he, she hit it and quit it, and then yeah. So yeah. she was like taught, and she was like, "Okay, you can go. Your your services are no longer needed." I know I'm not a murderer, but if I had him tied to a chair, I wouldn't let him go quite so quickly. Yeah, me too. I agree. I wouldn't have sex with him. I would make a cast of his body and you then have sex with that. Okay. Thank you for joining us for episode three of After Show American Horror Story Hotel. Don't forget to follow us at Wild Presents and hashtag After Show. I'm Tracy Mattel. And I'm Edward Hansen. Last week, you were Team Tristan. I was Team Donovan. Yes. Now I'm Team Will. I'm Team Will too. So we're both on the same team now. Yeah, so if you're whatever team you are, actually, unless you're Team Will, don't even comment, because I don't even want to see yeah. it. And don't forget to subscribe to Wild Presence.